whatever we are receiving from our schools, from our families, from our cousins, from our relatives, from our neighborhood, from our peers, from our uh, colleagues, whatever we are receiving from this time. That's why I say I feel I am stranger in this time. Because the time and the culture and the world has overtaken us. We have been overwhelmed by the time and its influence and the cultural things and the social things. Though all this culture and social has created, has changed the habits. Norms have been changed. Manners are changed. Preferences are changed. Likings and disliking. Principles are changed for liking and disliking. We are now a different creation. Even 50 years before, it was a different world when I was young. And we used to see Deen practically walking in the streets, in the air, in neighborhood. In every house, every second house, at least one or two people, grandfather, grandmother, they used to, to, to pray the Hajjot in the night. The people, the boys and girls, kids, they had modesty. There was purity in the air. Respect of the relations. Values were alive. Not only in the mosques, but in your neighborhood, in your streets, everywhere. You could smell deen. You could smell the sunnah of Holy Prophet, the seerah of Holy Prophet. Values of Islam were living, were alive in our air, in our neighborhood. The whole thing is changed now. The kids were respectful to their parents, respectful to the teacher. Now the concept respect has gone from, has left our life. We are being ruled by our mood, by our personal choice, by our freedom. I like this. I don't like this. This is my choice. This is being taught to us. This is my personal freedom. Nobody can interfere my choice. Even parents can't interfere in our life. So this is a totally new world. These are our habits, Ada. And if you leave, get rid of the Ada, you become Sahibul Irada. <laughs>